going on guys my name is adam and i'm back with another video in today's video i'm dropping a new product pack it's called the ultimate music video transition pack and this pack you're gonna get 1000 plus transitions and effects specifically made for music video so if you're interested in that there's gonna be a link in the description for the full pack as well as the free pack so this pack contains a whole bunch of new unique transitions and effects that have never been seen before so without further ado let's go ahead and get started but if you're new here welcome to the culture I'm dropping new videos every week go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications so you never miss a video and also follow me Instagram where you can get early access to all the products that I'm dropping without further ado let's get into the computer awesome so now we're here on my website and to get to this site all you gotta do is click the link in the description and it'll take you to this free downloads page and so what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna scroll down and we have the ultimate music video pack so all you do is just press download now and it's free it's zero dollars you can put in whatever you want but I'm gonna put in zero I'm gonna go ahead and press add to cart and then right here it says checkout and then what you want to do is put your email address in and then once you put your email address in, you just press check out and then you press get, and then you might have to verify. And then once you've verified it, just press view content and then it'll take you to the page where you can download it because it was free. Let's give it a five-star rating. Thank you so much. And then you press download now, and then you just save it to your downloads folder or wherever you want to download it. So now that we have it downloaded, let's go ahead and go into Premiere Pro and I can show you how to install it. Okay, so now we're in Premiere Pro. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and go to our downloads folder. And so once you get to your downloads folder, you'll see the zip file, the AKV UMV sample pack, which stands for ultimate music video. We're gonna double click that to unzip the file. And then in this folder, you'll see the preset and also an important document. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is go back to Premiere Pro, go to our effects panel, go down to presets, right click, press import presets. And then we're gonna go to where we download our file. And here's the folder unzip. And then we're gonna just press on this preset pack, the AKV UMV sample pack and press open. And then we have it right here, the AKV UMV sample pack. So what this pack includes is five free video effects and five free video transitions. So let's go over what you get in the full pack. So here's the AKV ultimate music video preset pack. So if we open the folder, you'll see the video effects and video transitions. We'll go over some of the stuff you get in the full pack. So you get some circus mirror effects, 808 bump effects, clone effects, and also some color strobe effects. If you pause the video, you can see all the categories for the video transitions. So obviously you can see all the video transitions that you get bass bumps bounce transitions camera quakes camera shakes and I'll just go over them real slow because there's a ton of new transitions that I've created for you guys so we're just gonna go over a few of the effects so if you look at them some use an adjustment layer some require you to duplicate the clip and some require you to just place the effect right on top of your original clip and then we'll go to the video transitions some of these require in and out some of these require nesting and some of these require adjustment layers so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go over the video effects first and then I'll go over the video transition so starting out let's go ahead and grab an adjustment layer to get an adjustment layer you come over here to the new item tab press adjustment layer and you press OK, and then you'll have an adjustment layer in your project panel. We'll go ahead and just drag that on top of our clip. We'll resize it to the same size as our clip that's on the timeline, and then we're good to go. So I make these video effects easy drag and drop. So let's go ahead and grab this clone effect. So as you can see, there's a little clone effect, pretty dope in my opinion. And you just drag that on top of your adjustment layer. And this is perfect for a whole bunch of music video effects where you want to do it like a little duplicate effect. And I'm, I've seen these in a ton of music videos where people have actually cloned them using masking and also rotoscoping, but this effect makes it a lot easier and it's done in Premiere Pro. Obviously it's not the same look, but it's just an easier version of it. Let's move on to the next effect. So let's go to our ghosting effects. And so now we have these morphing ones. So what this requires us to do is duplicate the clip and place on the top clip. So to duplicate your clip, you just click on it on the timeline, hold option or alt on your keyboard and then just drag up and then what you do is you just drag and drop it onto the top clip and as you can see we have our morphing ghost effect pretty dope music video effect i can think of a ton of scenarios that you can use this for in your music video you can also add effects on top of it so if you want to add some color to it you can use the arithmetic effect that's one of my favorite effects that i found in the adobe premiere pro editing software so let's move on to our last way to do effects which is to just apply it and drag and drop it onto your clip. So I have these ghost trail effects. We'll go ahead and grab this white and yellow and you just drag it right onto your clip. As you can see, it's pretty similar to the ghosting effect, except you just drag it right onto your clip and it has a subtle color. You can't really see the white and yellow one. So I'll go ahead and do the green and purple because I feel like it will be a little bit easier to see. You can see it a little bit, but as you can see, 
super awesome effect. So let's go to the video transitions. As you can see, there's a ton of video transition. So let's go ahead and set ourselves up just like we did for the video effects. So we'll go ahead and grab our adjustment layer and we'll go ahead and make this adjustment layer 20 frames. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is hold shift and I'm going to move over to the right four times. One, two, three, four, five. When you hold shift, it counts as five frames. And so now I'm going to put this in the center of these two clips. And so now we have a 20 frame adjustment layer. I'm going to make a cut here on the end of this clip and I want to make a cut here at the end of the adjustment layer for this clip. This clip is now 20 frames and this clip on the left is now 20 frames. And then also we have set this up for nesting. So I'm going to drag this up and then I'm going to highlight this and press nest. And so now we have one clip or a nested sequence. And also we're going to leave these two here for our in and outs. And I'll show you guys exactly what that means. So we'll go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and grab our fade transitions. To use these, we have our outs and then we have our in. So the ins are what we transition into and our outs are we transition out from. So our first clip is what we transition out from into the second clip. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, just watch. So we use fade out one and then we'll go ahead and use fade in one as well. So let's see what our transition looks like. Super dope fade effect. So as you can see, we transition out from this clip into this clip. Pretty awesome. So let's move on to the next transition. So now we have our nested clip. Let's go ahead and look at these new hallucinogenic transitions. So let's go ahead and grab hallucinogenic one and let's play that back. So look at that transition, that looks awesome. Let's keep moving forward and we'll move on to our adjustment layer transitions. So what we do now is we go ahead and find a transition that uses adjustment layer. So we have our echo bumps. So let's grab echo bump one and we'll just go ahead and preview that transition right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are interested in getting the pack, I have a free pack and a link in the description below. And also if you're interested in getting the 1000 plus music video transitions and effects, there's gonna be a link for that down below as well. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I drop new videos every week. Turn notification bells on so you're updated every time I drop a new video. And also follow me on Instagram where you can stay updated about new products that are dropping. And that's it guys, take care, peace.